It's Sunday, so that means it's time for another featured creature. There is no shortage at the Tennessee Aquarium. Today, photojournalist Dakota Castile introduces us to an animal that's home is on its back. Why did the chicken cross the road? The world may never know. Why did the box turtle cross the road? Check it out on this week's Featured Creature. This is a Gulf Coast box turtle. It's actually the same species as that of the eastern box turtle, but a different subspecies. It's typically found from the Florida Panhandle all the way over into parts of Texas. So is there any particular reason as to why these guys are called box turtles? So if you look at the plaster on here, which is the bottom of the shell, the box turtle has a specialized hinge here on the plaster that allows for them to close up completely like a box, which is abnormal as most turtles aren't actually able to close up the shell 100%. So I know box turtles can commonly be found crossing roads. What is it that they're trying to accomplish whenever they do that? There are several different reasons as to why they cross the road. Sometimes they're trying to go to a food source, water source. Sometimes they're trying to lay eggs if it's a female. Sometimes they might be looking for a mate. What are some of the things that people can consider when trying to help these guys get to the other side of the road? Always looking out for your own safety. Making sure that if the turtle's crossing in front of you that you always place them in the same direction as where they would already be traveling because they do know why they're crossing the road. They are intelligent animals and you don't want to take them and drive them to a pond nearby and the reason for that is because they actually have a certain range that they regularly travel. It's called their home range and if you drive them several miles down the road to a pond that you know of, they may not know that area. It may not be part of their home range so it's kind of like taking somebody from one state and putting them in another state with any without any map or directions. Would you say there's a wrong way to handle a turtle like maybe with some of our larger species when just trying to get them out of the way? One thing that oftentimes people mistake for a good idea is to pick the turtle up by the tail. That is actually a horrible idea. It can break the spine of that turtle. Now you can pick them up two hands towards the back of the shell and if it is something like say a common snapping turtle something that may be a little bit more dangerous you can take something and carefully kind of nudge it from behind or you can kind of lift up on its plastron or the bottom of its shell and its back legs and kind of just help it along the road that way if you're afraid to kind of pick it up on your own. For this week's featured creature, I'm Dakota Castile. To see this story again or any of our other featured creature segments, go to our website at newschannel9.com.